Hello everyone, Moscow here and the Corp of Beast is coming in a few days from now and I wanted to make a guide about it. The recommended levels will be based on how big is your team. A team of more than 7 players you should have at least 18 in the combat style you are using and for smaller teams you should have at least 19. If you are using melee you should have at least 70 prior for piety and if you are a ranger you should have access to the ego eye. Another very important level here is magic. The corporal beast's most powerful attacks are magic based, and unlike melee or ranged attacks, the defense of magic attacks is based not only on your defense level but also on your magic level. The magic defense is 70% of your magic level and 30% of your defense, so your magic level here is around 2.3 times more important than your defense level against magic attacks. So the higher your magic level, the better. So the recommended gear is based on what kind of team you wanna join. Free for all or with a group of friends, and the combat style you are using, melee or ranger. For free for all teams, you'll be looking for the most efficient and accurate gear to get the kills possible, while for the first team you wanna use more welfare gear without losing much efficiency on the kills. For the helm slot, the best choice is the fighter head, because it gives you a stab attack bonus that can make the difference on getting the kills. Another great choice is the Ned's Not Helm with some nice strength and prayer bonus and being very easy to get if lost on death. That helm is also a decent choice for rangers as it gives you no negative attack bonus. For the amulet slot, the amulet of fury is the best option because of the overall bonus and you can always use the amulet glory as a cheaper option. For the cape slot, the best one for milliers is the fire cape. Because of the overall bonus and in free for all teams, every little advantage can make the difference. If you don't want to risk that much, you can always bring a skill cape or a obsidian cape or even a legend's cape. For rangers, the best item on the cape slot is obviously the Alpha Attractor. For the gloves, the best choice is the Barus gloves, as it is the most powerful gloves in the game but you can always bring cheaper options like the rune gloves for decent bonus without much money needed. For the boots slot, the best choice for milliers is the dragon boots for the strength bonus but the climbing boots can be a great choice if you are not willing to spend much. And for rangers, the snake skin boots are a great choice without risking much. For the weapon slot, the best choice for milliers is the Zamorak and Spear, and for rangers the best choice is the Amarlil crossbow, but you can always bring a rune crossbow as the difference isn't that much. On the ring slot, the best choice for milliers is the Trisonos ring with stab attack bonus, but you can always choose to use the Berserker ring for the strength bonus, or if you are a ranger you can always use the Archer ring. All these options are great, but it's really easy to die at the corporal base, so unless you are on a free fall team and want the best bonus possible, the best choice here is the ring of life. For the chest and legs slot, the best choice for millers is carriers because of the high magic defense with no negative melee attack. Another great choice is the black dehyde because it's cheap and still got decent magic defense and for rangers the best choice is Amadeo, but if you don't want to spend that much you can always bring black dehyde. For the special attack weapon, the best choice are the Bundles Godswood and the Dark Light because they can decrease the corp defense with the special attacks and will make kills 5 to 20% faster. With all that in mind, the best gear possible gives you 121 stab attack and 129 magic defense, while with Wilfair gear you get 108 stab attack and 111 magic defense. So with the best gear possible you will be around 12% more accurate than using Wilfair gear and will have around 16% more magic defense. So this can be a very big difference on free fall teams on getting the kills. As you cannot use overloads here in old school, the main food used is sharks or deck crabs. With that in mind you should bring super attack and super strange or a super combat potion if you are using melee or a ranging potion if you are a ranger. You should also bring a teleport, around 2 to 4 brews for combo reeling, 2 prey potions, 2 to 4 super restores and the rest of the inventory of sharks or dark crabs. If you are a stunner, you should also bring a meteor crossbow or beater with emerald bolts. 
That's all for this video guys, I hope you like it and I will make the second part of that guide in a few days from now with the tactics and the fight itself. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.